Hi, this is Matthew Campagna from theturninggate.net. That's me, and so is that. And this is the first in a series of video tutorials in which I'm going to walk you through how to use TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. Ultimately, these videos will comprise a sort of video instruction manual on how to use the web engine. Also, a lot of what I'm going to be covering in these videos, especially in the first several entries, will have to do with uh, elements that are common throughout many TTG products. And so even if you're not using the High Slide Gallery Pro, maybe you're using TTG Pages, the Auto Index, or some other type of image gallery, a lot of what you'll learn watching these videos can be applied to those products. So uh, getting started, I'm in the library module. And what I like to do when I'm designing a new layout for an image gallery is to select a small collection of small files. Uh, what I'm looking at now are image files, JPEGs, uh, that were taken with my cell phone. And they're going to be perfect for what we're doing because they're very small in file size and so that when Lightroom is rendering a web preview, uh, the whole page is just going to lo load very quickly. If you're rendering a preview from 100 raw image files, which are very large, it's going to take a lot longer than if you're rendering a web preview from a small collection of low-res JPEGs. So that said, let's hop on over to the web module. I'm going to go to the layout style list and select TTG High Slide Gallery Pro version 2.0. Now watch in the upper left, we're going to get a progress bar that indicates the build time for the gallery. Uh, task completed. As you can see, that didn't take very long. But imagine if that were a collection of 100 large raw image files, we'd probably still be waiting. Um, but still, in just a few minutes, we're going to take action to make sure that our web previews are even faster. Um, but first, I want to customize my workspace. I like to have as much room as possible when I'm working, so I will usually start tucking things away. For example, I don't need the web or the module picker anymore because I'm going to be staying in the web module, so we can collapse that. Uh, I am going to be using the template browser, but not just yet, and so I can put this left-hand control panel away too. You might want to hide your toolbar by pressing T. You can bring it back by hitting T again. I'm going to leave mine in place, and if you'd like, you can also adjust the size of your film strip to give yourself more room to work with. The next thing is the right-hand control panel, and uh, as you can see, controls are being cut off. This is because many TTG galleries use very wide space in the controls in order to give you more information. Um, also, I do like to work wider on the right-hand control panel because it gives me finer control over my sliders. So I'm going to mouse around the edge until you can see the cursor change, click and drag that to pull it as wide as it will go. Um, as you can see, the controls are no longer cut off. This is using Lightroom 3 Beta 2. If you're using a previous version of Lightroom, Lightroom 2 for example, at this point the controls would still be cut off. You're going to have to quit Lightroom and restart to make your control panel look like this. Uh, but now that we've got that, we can start looking at the preview itself. This large brown box is a license agreement for uh, High Slide JS, which is the presentation engine that underlies uh, your gallery. And it's a separate thing from TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. So please have a look at this, uh, make your peace with it, and when you have read and understand your obligations as a High Slide user, you can move over to the top of the control panel and there's this first checkbox that reads, I have read and agree to the High Slide licensing agreement. Clicking that will cause the license agreement to disappear. Um, also, the next section down is the end user license agreement for TTG High Slide Gallery Pro. Clicking this gray button will take you to that agreement on my website, and I do recommend that all users go ahead and read through that before using the product. So now that that's out of the way, uh, we can begin working. Something that a lot of new Lightroom users overlook is the template browser, and this is actually very important, so I'm going to bring this back. What this allows you to do is take all of your dialed in settings here in the control palette and save them as a preset that you can later apply to a different group of images or if you just want to save your work and resume working at a later time, 
That way you don't have to redo all of your customizations every time you come into the web module. So very quickly, the way that we use that is simply to expand the template browser. As you can see, I've got lots of presets already made. Uh, and you're going to hit this plus button to create a new preset. You can tell it where to put that. I'm just going to stick it into user templates for now. And then you can give it a name. And we'll just call this working template for High Slide Pro 2.0. So I'm going to hit create, and down here it will add a new template to my list. You can see there's working template HSP2 that we just made. Um, if I make changes to my gallery, this just come down here and make a very quick change. Maybe I'm going to hide the header. Uh, and you want to update the existing preset with those settings, you just come down and find it in the template browser. Don't click on it, because if you do, you'll recall the previous settings. But instead, you want to right-click, or on a Mac, control-click, to bring up the menu. Then you can select Update with Current Settings to lock in the current settings on that template. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back my header, just to put us back at the default. I'm going to update my preset again and tuck that away so that we can get a view. Um, and we're ready to start working. So in the next series of videos we'll actually start going through the controls in the, uh, the control panel here and making changes to our gallery. Stay tuned.